question. Um, okay. Last week we talked, I think I told you, my one grandson, hi, Thomas Knight, wants to be an actor. And I love his name. I said, you don't have to change your name if you become good an actor. Name. That is a good name. And um, so he went to theater college or whatever you call it for two years. And he now got accepted at, uh, I think it's the Stella Adler. Um, oh, yeah. Place. Yes, he's all excited. So he's in New York. He's in New York. So I'm just wondering if um, you could give him any advice or tips about the Big Apple and just being successful, just finding networking, good places to eat. I'm a terrible, I am a terrible networker. Oh, but geez. he's got a, he has got a terrible networker, but he has got a community around him already because Stella <laughs> Adler is a place to be for acting mm -hmm. lessons. Mm -hmm. And if he is truly an actor, everybody within his sphere is going to recognize that and want to help him, support him, and give him advice. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, mm -hmm. listen to your inner self. Most yes. people just want to talk. And a yes. lot of people are going to be jealous of you and your talent, oh, yes. and they're going to want to downgrade it. And the third thing is, I've been through a I've been through a million more rejections than I have acceptance. Yes. My biggest yes. ideas in life that just really took me to another level. Nobody believed in me when I brought those ideas to them. They were looking at me like, "Are you crazy?" And something inside of me said, "Okay, if you don't understand what I'm trying to do and it's going to be huge, mm -hmm. then you're not meant to take the journey with me. That is right. my afterthought. Yeah. So I would say, if I had to tell you who is my most endearing love of my life, it was my talent. Who was my best friend in life? It was my talent. Who was my greatest advisor and motivator, my talent. And if he can love his talent as much as yes. I loved mine, it will take him where he needs to go. Exactly. And I had told him, uh, Kai, you need to move to either LA or New York, you know, because he was in Wilmington, North Carolina. And that he was ready. He had the two years of theater school and he's gone. He's so excited. He had knows people there. You know, he, he's got all the... I think New stuff. York is better to move to because it's more concentric. And also, they are now building a huge movie studio in Long Island City, right across the river. So there's the industry. I know where I live on Fifth Avenue, across from Central Park. Oh, my God, the number of TV shows that are being shot here and your whole neighborhood is overtaken by crew and lights. And it's like a regular occurrence. We're not even excited about it. We're like, uh, who is it now? No, oh, Nicole Kidman. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> he's he's moving to the right city. Yes. He's because there. for some reason, they're bringing back a lot of the TV and movie industry to New York. And I like the size of New York. And I i mean, LA is so spread out. I was born there, so I really know it, even yeah. though it's changed a lot. And yeah. the energy here is so concentric. You can really plug into it. So the other thing I would say is you're in an artistic field, but most artistic fields are run by guys who have money, but mm. don't trust talent. Talent is too ephemeral talent. So what you need under your belt is to get a couple of roles that grab the public's attention and make money. And once they see you as a dollar sign, you're, you're in. in and then you can yes. get to the next point and the next point. Yeah. But don't expect people to fawn over you. I, you know, oh, I came goodness. to New York. I knew that's where I needed to be for fashion. 
I knocked on a million doors and I said, I'm talented. I know I can do it. And they all looked at me and slammed the door. And then I finally, finally, out of a thousand, got one person, Bloomingdale's, to believe in me. And that's what I needed. And so the other thing I say is, at some point in your burgeoning beginning career, you are going to get a chance. Make the most out of it. Be your best and most brilliant because you never get a second chance at first impression. And he 